one thing is guaranteed when there's a sit down or an interview with Steve Compella that this guy will either challenge you socially, emotionally, mentally. And there's definitely going to be lessons and new concepts learned. Well, the post-match interview after his team lost against Orlando Pirates was no different. He dished out some vital, vital nuggets and vital points, especially for, for young coaches. you got to admire Steve for one thing. He's been in the game for so long, but the guy is not stuck to his way. But he is willing to learn new things, and uh, he really is evolving with the times. Made mention of some points. Obviously, there's, uh, there's an interview just after here that you can listen to. He made mention of how South Africans can actually make their play more, more sensible. We might not be gifted and endowed with the stature of Nigerians, you know, Senegalese, or even the Ivorians. But we are endowed with some technical abilities and pace. And uh, those two things we, we have could actually make us succeed in our play. And uh, obviously, I was not talking to Hugo Bruce about this, but he was talking about his Morocco Solos players. But generally, South African players are the same. So he is for modern day coaching practices. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan, I'm a, an advocate for coaches who are willing to learn and evolve with the times. Please do take your time and just listen to the clip where he was talking about um, his players and South African players in general. Players must know how to play from the back. And, and clearly, you, you have to improve players. And through positioning, understanding which pass has to follow, knowing when they are under pressure what to do, if they are not under pressure what to do. You try give all these solutions to them. But at the end of the day, it's about them. They are going to take the decisions in a match. And we, we, we can't stop that because it's, we find it to be a sensible way of playing, more especially for African players. If you look at our team, uh, if we play long balls, how many of those balls do you think Abadino Mango can win from Da, from CBC, from Toki? It's rare. Uzuma, how many of those balls can he win when we go long? Uh, Upachi, how many of those? Okay, KG is very strong in the air. But then, do you have people to pick up second balls and all that? And, and, and which is why I'm saying very uh, you You have to play the game and in line with the kind of players you have. And African players, by nature, are highly technical. Uh, not unless you have a DJ Drogba who you know that you can launch, he holds up. And there are teams that are blessed in the country where they have players who are big, who can hold up play. But there are also teams that you can't play long when you know that you're going to give away possession. Because as soon as you play long, or put in the ball for competition, it's 50-50. Now, between a centre-back and an attacker who's short, Who's going to win that ball? You look at what Usipo did here. Yeah? Every time Pirates came long, Usipo Sibir was winning the balls because he's a big boy. And now, if he wins that ball, the midfield must then pick up the second balls. But I'm saying at Morocco Solos, the composition of your midfield as well. You did not have AJ, you did not have Barra, you did not have Umakuela, and you look at Ufan Ryan, the one who got in. I mean, well, you can't expect this guy to be winning second balls and fighting for the ball. So all that you're saying is that, listen, let's start with the ball at the back because we have technique, we can pass, we can move, and we have speed. The only thing that I think that Morocco Solos needs to start doing is to find a way to generate speed as soon as they have come out from, from a build-up, which is what I think Tottenham masters that very well. The change of tempo as they get into the midfield and going on a counter-attack. You, you create this counter attack, and it's very you'll find me very stupid to say you want to play on a counter whilst you're in possession. There's nothing like that. When you are in possession, you are playing. The only team who's going to play on a counter attack is the one who regains possession. So then you have to create that artificial counter attack whilst in possession. How do you do that? As soon as you build on the sides where there's overloads. You try avoid and get to the other side that is underloaded. 
And we all know with less numbers, more space, there's a possibility of speed. Then you trigger a counterattack. So these are all innuendos and things that we work on, work on. We'll work on them. They may not come out this season with us. They may come out after three years or four years. Or they may be then taught by the same players to their own teams as a coach because teaching and learning does not bring an immediate outcome. Certain things that you apply in your life are not things that you just learned. Instead, are things that you inherited from your educators long time ago. So we depend on that. We don't only coach. We also try to say to these players, as soon as you finish play, have enough information that you can become coach as well.